glamorous and want a wonderful night out with a very elegant setting and quality champagne, then Luxus is the place for you. possibly do this segment without champagne. I'm here with Jojo who's the co-owner of Luxus. Hello. Thank you for talking to us. Oh, you're most welcome. Now why is Luxus the place to go for champagne? Um, on the Gold Coast uh, we have a lot of people on honeymoons and travellers through and there's a lot of celebrations here on the coast. Um, Queensland actually has the largest champagne sales in the state out of Australia. Wow. So we do consume quite a lot of bubbles. Absolutely, and so you should. Um, how many champagnes do you have? You've got one of the largest ranges. We actually ranges. have 26 champagnes available, and that is standard fruits, and then we have a reserve and vintage list as well, so yes. Fantastic. Now, can you tell us about the different champagnes in front of us? There are. Everybody thinks of champagne as this thing bubbly, but of course, every champagne has different size bubbles in particular. One of the finest, as they call beads, which is the finest bubble, is the Dom Perignon, which is an extreme product. Yep. Um, we have the 98 here, but Dom Perignon is known for the 96, which is incredible, with just an amazing vintage, and any uh, vineyard, any champagne house with 96 still going is sought after. Fantastic. Um, Rue 90 on the end is part of the Moe Hennessy Dom Perignon portfolio, yep. um, and it is a sweeter uh, champagne. It is very fine. It's sweet and not particularly dry, um, and it goes fantastic with seafood. Oysters are just, just beautiful. Or you can have it as a style as a dessert wine. Uh, La Grande Dame is uh, ex exceptional, and people prefer to have that with uh, like cheese plates. It goes beautiful with uh, blue cheeses and vintage creams and uh, greens. It's just beautiful. The current is like the grandfather of the godfather of champagne. It is the premium product. Every grape is basically nurtured for us with our fruit. Um, and it goes well with any celebration. Um, and once again, I'd probably go with game meat with your crew. Uh, Tatanja is very, very popular in Australia and it is one of the driest, most Chardonnay styles of campaigns. Uh, once again, it is very dry and it hits your back palate and you will recognise the Tatanja as soon as you taste it. Taste it, you can feel it. Uh, the Europeans, this is number one drop for the Europeans. It's uh, Louis Rodier, and um, Louis is uh, the, the champagne on pour at the Versace. So, as you can tell, a lot of Europeans go through there and is Europe's number one drop. Uh, here we have our Perrier Jouettes, and the bottles are just gorgeous. Um, and once again, the rose is becoming extremely popular, and the, the girls love it. It's, it's uh, it matches very well with, once again, seafood and gay meat. Now we're going to have a look at some of the cuisines. And Jojo, can you tell me any cultures that influence the cuisines here? Yes, yeah, so there's obviously a Japanese influence. We were living there for 15 years. And um, at the moment, it's a flavour of the month in Japan. Yeah, absolutely. And well, what do you have here for us today? Um, we have. I love to start you off with the oysters. Lux's uh, champagne goes hand in hand with oysters. Uh, we have some beautiful sashimi oysters and uh, seaweed oysters. And the oysters here on the coast are beautiful. Not, but not to the output, the Sydney oysters are one of the best. Okay, and this one here? Uh, we have a beautiful OP rib, uh, which is a, a ribeye fillet um, for the meat eaters, the carnivores of uh, the coast, and which is fantastic. We're quite well known for that as well. Yeah. Sashimi, everybody raves about our sashimi. We actually have a Japanese head chef, Akira, who does an amazing job. And our second chef, uh, Aya, she's a Japanese trained sashimi chef. So, Over here we have the Morton Bay Bugs, which are an absolute favourite. We have guests from all around the world walk in the door and say, do you have those bugs? So obviously it makes a statement for Australia. Absolutely, it does. And to finish the evening, we have one of our all-time favourites, which we cannot take off the menu because it's such a good seller, is the old classic apple strudel. And the boys make it with a twist here. It's on the menu. They actually twist it, but it is with a twist, the Luxus twist. It's oh, it's gorgeous. Well, you've got the champagne, you've got wonderful food, but I believe there's still more, is that right? There is. Luxus is a multi a multi venue. Uh, we can cater for any occasion. As you can see, it can be a romantic dinner to a wedding party to um, a corporate event, um, or you know, we have a lot of the movie stars come through and have their after parties and private parties here. So it rolls on. We're licensed until 2 a.m. 
So you can imagine after dinner it pumps up and you can keep partying and have fun into the wee hours in the morning. Fantastic, well, we better let you go and do that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Jacob. you.